I'm going to show you now how you can use network analysis and visualization to save and to remember the information that is important to you. We will use the example of Chinese medicine, the connections between different organs and uh, their functions. So first you need to go to settings and uh, choose to only visualize hashtags and to ignore words. This will make it much easier for you to create the graph. Then you also need to select that uh, in mentions, the at sign is removed, but each hashtag or word that is connected to mention uh, should not be connected to each other. Then you go back into the apps and you create a new graph, which you can call organs functions. Click enter, you open the empty graph. Then you go to the page where you have the information that they find interesting. For example, here it's talking about the heart. Select the text uh, which is uh, interesting to you. And then uh, select again the words which you want to save into the graph. So for example, here we want to save the connection between the heart, the blood, the mind, the emotions and feelings. We click save and we create a graph where the word with the at sign, the mention, uh, is the central one and everything else which was hashtag is connected to that word. Then you can go back into the text and choose another part that you find interesting. For example, some information about the lung, copy and paste it into the graph. And then because you want everything to be connected to the lung, then you put the mention sign next to it. While the words that you want to connect to the lung, uh, you can uh, select them with the hashtag. So fixate and then key is hashtagged and yin is hashtagged as well. And also the function to moisten. So you can also select uh, exactly how you want it to be spelled. Click save. It will be visualized as a graph. You see you already have the lung and fixate the function, all the different energies, another function moisten. Then you go back into the text, find some other part that you're interested in. So for example, here are some other functions of the lung, copy and paste it into the graph, put the at sign next to the lung so that all the hashtags are connected to it, and then select key, water, regulation, skin, and we have uh, even more functions visualized now. Finally, uh, the other task also connected to the skin. So skin like the organ and then it protects the body. Excrete is the function. Adjust. Temperature. Hashtags. Save. It's going to be visualized on the graph. And then finally, another sentence. So for example, how the lung governs the hair. Again, at sign or the mention sign next to the lung, everything that you want to be connected to it is selected with the hashtag. And the hashtags will not be connected to each other. So you see, now we have quite a good visualization of the organ and all the functions that it performs. Going back into text, we select uh, another part. So for example, here it's about the liver. Copy and paste it into the graph. Uh, mention sign next to the liver so that all the hashtags are connected to it and then select the words that you want to connect to the liver with the hashtags in, blood, young, young and uh, that's it. Save. And now you see an interesting thing that we have the liver, we have yin which also connects to the lung because we mentioned it before. When we select these terms, we can see the parts of the text uh, which contain these terms together. So this is pretty useful. We already have a good overview of the connections. Now we go back into text, select uh, another organ, the spleen. I'll, I'll put the mention sign next to it, hashtags next to the functions. So transformation, absorb, transport, heart, lung, what we want it to be connected to. Click save. Save into the graph. You see even more connections emerge on the graph. Now we can see how organs relate to each other. If we select them, we can see if the lung and spleen, uh, how they're connected together. So that becomes a very interesting tool to analyze and study information which you're saving using the graph.